many have a very difficult time seeing how automation can be applied to complex jobs such as doctors, architects, etc. In order to consider this, we first need to ask ourselves what the true nature of our occupational roles really are. What exactly is a doctor, a carpenter, a plumber or an architect? What are they actually doing? They recognize and react to observed patterns. When a doctor examines you, all he is doing is mentally referencing what has been learned. If you go to a dermatologist because you think you might have cancer on your arm, the doctor is going to examine the skin and mentally reference the patterns he or she has been taught. Then he will take a sample of the skin to be tested by machine analysis. It is a technical process. There is no reason to say that an optical scanner connected to a computer database cannot scan your arm and immediately understand what problem exists. Even surgery, as sensitive as it may seem, is a purely technical process. It is only a matter of time before extremely advanced machines replace surgeons. The same goes for every other utilitarian occupation in existence. The utilitarian roles that humans assume in society today are fundamentally technical by nature. While this seems obvious in regard to physical labor, our mental labor can now be delegated to computers as well. If this sounds foreign to you, please note that if you have ever used a calculator you have delegated your decision making to a machine. When you divide 19,500 by 30, with the calculator, this machine is who decides the result, not you. We must remember that logical reasoning is the cognitive ability to find solutions, from a cause and effect standpoint, following the rules and laws of a given system. Is entirely a technical process. There's nothing magical or esoteric involved in an addition, or the identification of a molecule in a component. If you are going to decide between using metal A or metal B, for producing an airplane, it is not done by you being seated and thinking. But doing different resistance experiments with the metals and if they pass those tests, they are selected or discarded. It is not a hidden process that happens in some area of the brain. It is information obtained by doing precise and defined testing that can be and is being automated. There isn't a capitalist or communist way of building an airplane. If the airplane doesn't satisfy the physical requirements to be able to fly, it won't fly. A person cannot invent something that has no correlation with reality. It doesn't matter how imaginative you are, if what you imagine cannot be obtained by rearranging and manipulating existing physical stuff in reality, it will not materialize. This is Adam, the first robot to make a scientific discovery without human help by conducting its own experiments and interpreting the results. Equipped with a freezer stacked with thousands of mutant strains of yeast and a database of yeast facts, it discovered the function of a number of genes in Baker's yeast. Adam's brain is made up of four personal computers, while its body is a room full of robotic lab equipment. It performed cell cultures and monitored their growth, carrying out more than a thousand experiments every day. This type of work is typically carried out by human graduate students, but Adam has shown that robots can be just as effective researchers. It could free up humans to work on more complex aspects of the research. Another variety of robotic scientists can observe a physical system and identify the laws that govern it. It started out knowing nothing about physics or geometry, but when it was shown images of a double pendulum, it worked out the equations that explain its movement and tested them as well. It may not be long before human and robot scientists work together to make new discoveries. You know, you technology that? is racing forward, and it's it's cheaper today for industry to automate. There's no air conditioning, no people that you have to pay, no salaries, no insurance that you have to pay. It's even becoming cheaper to automate than to outsource today. There are many factories at almost 100% automation. So as, as soon as there are more people who automate, and they have to, to, to stay ahead of the competitive edge, then that means that people will not have jobs and they will not have purchasing power to buy the goods turned out.